hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be stuffing my wallet my sinking funds and some bills so if you like videos like these go ahead and hit the like button if you end up enjoying the video and want to see more hit the subscribe button leave me a comment down below let me know how your month of march went and let's get started okay y'all so this is how my month is looking for the month of march and today is actually the last day so if you're new to my channel, my name is Janika and I do cash stuffing, personal finances, budgeting here on the channel, as well as inspiring you guys, those of you that may be on a low income, a fixed income, or maybe you have a high income, but you have a lot of bills or you have debt, or if you're like me and you're on variable income, so the amounts fluctuate every single month. Um, basically, I'm just here to show you that no matter what amount you're working with, you can make it work for you no matter what you have if it's twenty dollars fifty dollars you can participate in savings and sinking funds and all that good stuff so let's see um so the only bill i had this week was my canva bill and if you follow me on Inst instagram i did use my um what was that i did use my mock budget which is my digital budget planner to start working on my april budget so you guys will see my setup for april um in the next few days here is kind of what we're working with i put some sticky notes down um so i can remember what to put on my calendar so we're gonna go ahead and get into the weekly check-in also i did have some notes here on the side of some things that i wanted to accomplish for this month and thank god we got through everything I um, canceled my lash extension subscription, canceled my old bank card, got a new one, and got a new electricity company um, for my apartment. The very next page over is my monthly budget um, page where I work my numbers. I did go ahead and close out my variable expenses for the month of March, and we are a little bit under. That's typically what I like to do. Um, with that being said, you guys are going to see my budgeted amount for April be significantly lower. You'll see that next month. Um, all of my bills were the same as far as the amounts I put. Nothing was different. I'm still working on closing out sinking funds and retirement, but saving challenge was the same. I did not have to pay my last fee to the cycling gym that I was attending. So that's $139 saved. I do owe $12 on a COVID vaccine, but we're just going to take care of that in April. Um, I forgot to put groceries in here, so that's why it's down here, but it is included in the 912. So um, I was a little bit under in pretty much all my categories. I didn't really need to use my dashboard this month. I just didn't have a whole lot going on. And sometimes that's how it is. Every month I don't have a whole lot. I don't have birthdays this month, so I just didn't have a lot going on, but I will be probably filling in my dashboard for April. This is the weekly check-in. Um, so what I love about this is when it's time for me to close out my monthly budget, I literally just, all I need are these numbers. So I don't have to subtract all the way down. This last week of the month lets me know what I have remaining for the entire month in these categories. So that was super easy. Okay guys, so, um, Let's go ahead and see what's left over in the wallet. And if you were not aware, I am running a sale this weekend in my shops. So I have 35% off on my website with the code year two, and you just apply it um, on your cart page. So you add things to your cart and then you'll scroll down and scroll down and see a discount box. And that's where you put the code. And then on Etsy, if you prefer that platform, I do have a 30% um sale on that platform and no code is needed these pink um kind of salmon color wallets will be available for pre-order on monday april 3rd for 15 percent off so just that one day and then they start shipping april 21st so there is my uh <laughs> sale plug so i went ahead i as y'all saw i already did my breakdown in my um planner so I just need to pull the cash out. Now, um, I'm going to pull the cash out to stuff my saving challenge. So all this money, which is all ones, I look like I went to the strip club. All this money <laughs> is a uh, roll leftover money from the envelopes throughout the month that I was just holding in my bank envelope. And I was gonna put this money in the bank 
but when I was doing my budget, I forgot a few things. My monthly budget for um, this week as well as April, I forgot several things. So coins, I'm going to put that up in my coin box. And then I use Fetch Rewards to scan my receipts to get points to trade in for gift cards. And then these are where I keep my cards. So I'm going to go ahead and grab um, my saving challenge book really quickly because we are in the last stuffing for March. This is so exciting. So we're going to stuff the 10 and the nine. So from my wallet, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I had $17 remaining. I was going to pull these out of my check, but I completely forgot when I was doing my numbers this week. So I did have $17 from my wallet in rollover for the whole month. I did have to go into my miscellaneous sinking fund and grab two more to make it 19. So um, I have a miscellaneous envelope and it's really just for anything. There's no specific purpose. So I can pull from it for whatever I need. And that's what I did to complete the stuffing, the saving challenge stuffing for um, March. So can y'all believe that we are done with quarter one? I feel, I don't know, I feel pretty good. Um, <laughs> quarter one <laughs> are the smaller amounts. So as we get into quarter two, quarter three, <laughs> these amounts pick up big time. So this is all the money from quarter one. And I did exchange throughout the month. Like I'm gonna exchange all these ones um, probably next week. But this is the money from quarter one. And I'm done with the little sticky note sheet. Or not sticky note sheet, the um, check mark sticker sheet. So I'm just gonna trash that. And um, let me see, I believe I have April right after. So this is our April challenge. And if you're wondering um, what I was using for my mock budget, again, this is my principal budget planner where I just printed out the sheets that I needed, like um, bill tracker, paycheck, budget, sinking funds. And I filled this out before I put it in here so that this is where I can do all of my, you know, mistakes and all that good stuff. All right, so flipping over to the month of April, again, all this stuff I'm gonna fill in on camera when I do my um, April budget setup video. But for today, I do need to go ahead and fill in my categories for my variable um, expenses because we're getting started with them. So I'm turning sideways. So I have spending and for the first week of April, I'm just going to budget $10. Um, gas for the first week of April, I'm budgeting $45. Well, I budget, budget this every week for the most part. Um, groceries I am trying to spend a little bit less this month because um, I have a trip in May at the end of May um, I believe we we will see if um, it ends up you know happening but um, yeah eating out is going to get 25 and let's see what else i think that's it guys so i'm gonna put beauty because i'm not i'm not gonna stuff beauty this week but it is gonna get stuffed this month i'm not going to um put medicine because i'm not giving myself a budget for medicine this month um i have everything i need from painkillers allergy medicine cold medicine if i get sick stomach medicine if that becomes an issue <laughs> so i don't need any medicine this month and i'm that money i would end up spending on something else so i'm not even going to put it in the budget this month um and then my laundry i do that online so um i'm gonna go ahead and grab the cash so that we can put this in the wallet okay so spending is going to get a 10. i should have took my coins out i did not do that and I'm trying to think if I had any questions. So typically I like to try to answer your guys' questions if I didn't get a chance to type it out in the comments. Um, man, I cannot recall any questions. 
from last week, but I have been like really cyber focused on the sale. So if I didn't get to answer your question in the comments, and like I said, I can't recall anything right now, you can leave me a question in the comments on this video and I will either answer it in the comments or I will answer the next video. So I try to answer all the questions in the comments, but sometimes I forget and then if I remember, I'll do it in the video. But yeah, so I hope that you guys had an amazing month. Um, this month has definitely been pretty good. It ended better than it started, I'll say that, as far as the budget is concerned. Eating out is getting 25. And so beauty will get 50 for the month, but I'm gonna stuff that next week. Medicine is nothing. The first month, uh, this beauty, is that it? That's it, okay, yeah. So the, the first of every month is a, is a heavy month for me because my rent is due with my utilities. Next month, you'll see my um, new electricity bill that's due. You might even see a tax bill that's due. Um, what else will you see? My dental and health insurance. But I will be closing out my health insurance after I go to the doctor because I actually found a plan on healthcare.gov. One of my subbies sent me a link to it and found a plan with my doctor and network and the, the deductibles and all that are really about the same as what I have now. But I can't enroll in it until November. So after I go to the doctor this summer, I'm definitely going to look into canceling my health insurance. I'll, I won't have health insurance for a few months and then re-enroll in December. Okay, y'all, so I'm doing a super low stuffing today because we have a lot of heavy bills to pay for the first of the month. Um, so the stuffing, I think all of my sinking funds combined are gonna get $50. And the rest of this money is going toward bills that you see here. So we will um, get started with birthday. forget how to do this one <laughs> I need a new tracker but um I'm keeping the one that I have the ones that I have so I can close out the sinking funds so we have 20 40 50 60 65 66 67 68 God willing I need to tell y'all this In the next couple of weeks, I am going to be attempting, attempting to um, get a month ahead on bills. So y'all know that is like all the rave in the community right now, um, getting a month ahead on bills. And it seems like such a daunting task. Like what, you have a whole month worth of bills already paid for the next month. It's very daunting. Um, but y'all say a prayer for me. I might be able to, in the month of April, have May's bills paid for. And if that happens, I'll definitely let you let you guys know how. Um, so I'm just throwing it out there. So 600, 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Y'all, I love the matte. Like, I have a glossy vellum envelopes, but these matte, they feel so good. LASIK is going to get $2. Yeah, I'm supposed to put two here. And so I have 1120 Five, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six. So eleven thirty six. If y'all watched my last video, 
I had mentioned these nails to you guys. These are the ones I got on Amazon because I was telling y'all how I don't like to um, buy press on nails online because sometimes the photos are misleading. But these were the ones that I like heavily looked at the reviews, the reviews with pictures, and I felt pretty comfortable that, you know, I was going to get what it looked like. And this is my second time buying these. And it comes with actually three designs. So it's not just these designs. It's two more. Um, but yeah, I really like them. So outings has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. 17, yeah. And I'm going to try to have a link down below to these nails if you like them and want to try them out for yourself. Um, so it comes with two, two more designs and two of the three designs I like and I will wear. There's another design that I don't like and I just get rid of it. Car maintenance is going to get five. Four, 120, 40, 65, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, and 3, 193. So I'm guessing my car light is on. I think I will go once I get to 200, so that should be next week, 200 in this fund. Um, miscellaneous, where is miscellaneous? It's getting four. So one, two, three, four. And in here we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27. So again, this was the fund that I pulled out of because I needed some, I forgot to take my saving challenge money out of, um, well, I, yeah, I forgot to take my saving challenge money out of my paycheck. And when I did the math, I was I needed 19 more dollars to complete March and I had 17 in rollover. So I pulled the two dollars out of miscellaneous gifts will be getting um, two dollars as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and thirteen. So speaking of gifts, this is where, when I mentioned earlier in the video that I forgot several things to include in the upcoming budget for April. I, well, I forgot to include my last saving challenge stuffing for the last week of March. I forgot my God babies. Well, I didn't forget her birthday, but I forgot to pull money out for a gift for her. Um, and I don't want to pull it out of this fund because this is like, I want to grow this over time for her. So I don't want to pull it from here. And as you saw, my gifts envelope doesn't have a lot of money from um, my baby cousin had a birthday. I, I think I pulled money out of there. And then I gave money for my um, brother and sister-in-law's baby shower. So 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. So I forgot to pull money out for her birthday gift as well as my dad's birthday is in April. And I forgot to include any kind of little birthday gift for him as well. So that will just have to go under because I've already completed my mock budget for April. I'm like ready for Monday to post the April budget. So those two expenses that I forgot will just have to go under like unbudgeted and I'm just going to have to either take it out of my um, checks or out of my account, my bank account online. So I have 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 2.
and then medical is going to get a five. for 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. All right, y'all, so these were my um, high priority funds. They're high priority because these are the funds that I am most prone to pull out of in any given month. And so I'm gonna put these back in the binder, um, my pink binder, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my low priority funds. Okay, y'all, so these are my low priority sinking funds um meaning that i just don't pull from them as often and i have them in my black binder so car tax is going to get two dollars i'm thinking i might be a little short in this envelope my car tax are due in may may june 50, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 89. And I need about $100. Um, and usually, well, who knows? They may have gone up on it. But I know the last time I paid for my car tax, it was like 100 and some change for everything. Um, electronics is getting $1. For 34, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 2, 3, and 4. Um, emergency is going to get 5. for 1200 55 65 75 so 12 75 and there is more in my emergency count than 1275 but this is i had money in there um before i started this journey of cash stuffing and so this is the money that i've saved since since i cash stuffed Giveaways is going to get $2. So we are at 19.2, y'all. So y'all know that we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So if you like these videos, I just really appreciate it if you subscribe and join the family. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Christmas, we're going to do three dollars. So one, two, three, and we have twenty, thirty five, forty five, fifty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So fifty nine in Christmas. Functions is going to get $2. So Functions is for um, holiday extravaganzas where um, I typically use this envelope to contribute to any holiday festivities that I attend. That's not at my own house. Although, I do think I'm going to do a Christmas party. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. 10-15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26. Yeah, I'm thinking 
that I want to do a Christmas gumbo party. That's what I think. My Valentine's party was definitely pajama themed. So I'm like, should I do pajama themed again for Christmas or should I just, I don't know. I thought about doing a summer brunch, which I think I mentioned to y'all not too long ago. But I've changed my mind on that because I think I have somewhere to go every month of this summer, May, June. I don't know about June, July for sure. So yeah. Car tires is getting two for 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. And this is going to conclude the low priority sinking funds. So I'm gonna put these back where they go. And the rest of the money that you see guys is literally going toward bills. Okay y'all, so this is my bills binder. Um, I just have this pretty sparkly jelly binder. I love it so much. Um, so today we're gonna be stuffing health and dental insurance, Netflix, and my cell phone. So starting with cell phone, it is going to get 77. So we'll do 50, 70, 5, 6, and 7. And since I am not yet a month ahead, my bill money just stays in my wallet, in my binder until it's time for it to get paid so that um, all of the movement that I have going on through different bank accounts that my bill money doesn't like accidentally get transferred somewhere it's not supposed to be or gets used to pay something else. So that's currently my reasoning for pulling my bill money out. But once I get a month ahead, it will be bills that I'm stuffing for the next month. So let's see. Um, we are doing Netflix today. So Netflix and Apple are currently my only 11. That might have should have been 12. Are currently my only subscriptions. And I think I'm a dollar short. No, 11. 11. Um, I did end my Hulu subscription because I just don't use Hulu. I don't like the commercials. And then insurance will be um, for my health, health insurance. So I keep two trackers in here, one for car, one for health. It's really health and dental. So I don't think I have enough room to write both. So I'll just put health and it is a whopping $322. It feels like a car note. Um, and my dental insurance is only $26. So this is mainly help. So $322. But hopefully we will be done with this in the summer. And then next fall I can enroll in a cheaper plan. And then I'm going to save this for my tax bill um, and then student loans eventually whenever we start paying back on that um so that is going to conclude the video guys thank you so much for um watching this far if you made it if you see anything that you liked in the video there's a link down below for it it either came from my shop erin condren etsy or amazon um if you guys have any questions you can feel free to ask me down below don't forget to let me know how march went for you um don't forget the sales. If you want to grab some stuff at 35, 30 to 35% off, go ahead and check out my shop sites. And then I will see you guys back on Monday for my April budget setup in my budget planner. So I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye.